वेलकम टू सिंप्लीफाई proteins play a very very important role in our bodies right from providing a structure and framework to the body in the form of muscles and bones acting as messenger molecules making antibodies making enzymes and hormones and so much more we could all benefit with a little extra protein in our diets in this video i am going to share with you four high protein vegetarian recipes that are easy to make taste great and are a great protein addition to our diets i'm also going to provide an approximate amount of protein that you could expect to get out of these recipes if you are interested keep watching the first high protein recipe is moong dal chila with a paneer stuffing green moong is one of the richest sources of plant proteins and contains a bunch of essential amino acids which our bodies cannot produce if you are a vegetarian green moong is an excellent addition to your diet Green moong has antioxidants that has a potential to reduce free radical damage to the body. This recipe is going to require you to soak the green moong dal beforehand for 5-6 hours. You can further sprout the green moong. I'm going to use the soaked green moong dal as it is. Add the soaked dal to a blender. Add some chopped ginger pieces and a green chili and blend till you achieve a grainy texture. Pour out the mixture, season it with some salt and add 2 teaspoons of roasted cumin powder. Mix everything together. The consistency we are looking for is not too runny, so add water only if required. Heat a pan, add a teaspoon of ghee, pour out the batter and spread it carefully. After a few minutes of cooking on medium flame, add ghee to the top side and flip the chila. Cook both sides well till you find these brown spots on the chila. Each moong dal chila will take about 5-6 minutes of cooking. Moving on to the paneer stuffing. To 1 teaspoon of oil, add a pinch of carom seeds or ajwain seeds, some chopped onions and saute these onions a bit and then add some chopped tomatoes. You can also add other veggies of your choice. Then add the grated paneer, mix everything well. and finish off with some kasuri methi time to serve stuff about 2 tablespoons of paneer bhurji inside a moong dal chila and you are good to go two moong dal chilas stuffed with 2 tablespoons of paneer bhurji will provide you approximately 18 to 20 grams of protein the second high protein dish is sattu paratha served with dahi Sattu or roasted chickpea flour is gaining popularity among vegetarians because of its high protein content. Also sattu when combined with wheat becomes complete protein that provides all the nine essential amino acids. Sattu is also a good source of iron. Sattu paratha is one of those high energy dishes that will keep you full for a long time. Take some sattu flour in a bowl. 2 cups of sattu flour is good for making 5 6 parathas. Add a pinch of nigella seeds or kalonji. Add some chopped green chilies and chopped onion. One tablespoon roasted cumin or jeera powder. Salt, a tablespoon of mustard oil, and some amchur or dried mango powder. Ideally, you could add some pickle, but since I don't have pickle, I'm adding amchur powder. Now add some water to the mixture and knead it into a dough. Then knead some atta and make a few balls. Start stuffing the balls with your sattu mixture. Stuff the atta well. Roll the dough into a paratha and place the paratha on a hot skillet. I like making my parathas on an iron skillet. Flip the paratha, apply some ghee and flip it again. Cook the paratha well till you start seeing brown spots. Serve sattu paratha with a bowl of dahi or a pickle of your choice. Two sattu parathas served with one bowl of curd will provide you approximately 20 to 25 grams of protein. The third high protein dish is tofu curry served with rice. Tofu is an important source of protein for vegans and vegetarians. Tofu has a good amount of iron and calcium. Most importantly, tofu is low in calories and therefore it is a good substitute for paneer if you are looking to cut down on calories or fat intake. We are going to start with marinating cubes of tofu. Add some tikka masala to the tofu pieces, few spoons of curd, some salt and mix everything well. 
Let this mixture sit for 30 minutes. Now to make the masala, heat 2 teaspoons oil in a kadai, add 1 teaspoon jeera, let it splutter and then add 1 chopped onion. Add some salt and stir till the onions brown a bit. Add grated ginger garlic, 2 teaspoons of tikka masala and cook this masala a little bit before adding the tomatoes. Cook the tomatoes till they turn soft and mushy. Transfer the entire mixture to a mixer grinder jar and blend to get a smooth paste like this. Now in a kadai, add a teaspoon of oil and add the entire blended paste. Cook for a while and add the marinated tofu. Stir well to coat the tofu pieces with the paste. Add some water and let it come to a boil. Once you have a thick gravy, turn off the gas. Serve tofu curry with some rice. You can also have it with roti or chapati. I prefer to have it with rice. One serving of tofu curry with rice will provide you 15 to 18 grams of protein. The fourth high protein dish is cheesy red kidney bean or rajma burger. Rajma is a storehouse of many vitamins and minerals along with being a good source of protein. Rajma has soluble dietary fiber in it which helps in lowering the blood glucose levels. Soak rajma or red kidney beans overnight and then pressure cook it for about 30 minutes or 12 to 13 whistles. Drain the water and mash the rajma well till it looks something like this. Add 1 cup of soaked poha to this mixture to help bind the mixture together. Add some chopped onions, grated garlic, 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 teaspoon paprika or Kashmiri red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon black pepper powder, some salt and mix everything together. Now start forming the patties to match the size of your burger bun. Once the patties are ready, I am going to shallow fry them in some oil. You can also bake these in the oven. Flip the patties once they become nice and brown in colour. I am making two burgers today, so I am adding some grated cheese to two patties. You can use any cheese of your choice. I am going to put the lid on to melt the cheese. Time to make our second component which is an onion beetroot relish. Add oil to the pan, add some sliced onions, salt and brown the onions a little bit. Now add your grated beetroot, cover and cook till the beetroot softens a bit. Add a teaspoon of vinegar or some lemon juice and your beetroot onion relish is done. Our third component is a mint yogurt dip. Take 5 to 6 tablespoons of dahi or yogurt in a bowl and blend it well till there are no more lumps in it. Add chopped mint leaves and a drizzle of olive oil. Adding olive oil is completely optional. Mix the dip well. Now start assembling the burgers. Toast the burger buns in some butter. Place a rajma patty, some beetroot relish on top of it and drizzle the mint yogurt dip on top. Your high protein rajma burger is ready. If you eat eggs, you can add a fried egg to the burger to further boost its protein content. One cheesy red kidney bean burger will provide you 23 to 25 grams of protein. So the four high protein vegetarian recipes that I shared with you today are moong dal chila stuffed with paneer, sattu paratha served with dahi, tofu curry with rice and cheesy red kidney bean burger. Hope this video gives you inspiration to try out some of these high protein recipes and make them a part of your diet. Let me know in the comments which of these recipes you are most likely to try out. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, hit the red subscribe button to see more videos on the topics of health, nutrition and recipes. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care until then. Bye.